Hello, Paul Harvey fans. I suppose bullying has always been a problem. We all know someone who was a bully or who was bullied. Unfortunately, it seems that it's become more and more common in the last few decades. Schools have passed many rules to curb bullying. There are websites which provide tips on identifying bullying and how to prevent it. I'll share more information after the episode. But now, here's Paul Harvey. Now, the rest of the story. All the firemen at Station 1 on East Broadway knew Skinny. Skinny was 13, he was slender and shy, as his nickname suggested, and his constant companion, his only friend as far as anybody could tell, was a big old springy-haired Airedale dog. That dog followed Skinny everywhere. Would have followed him all the way to school if the boy had not begun bringing him to the firehouse where the pooch slept all day until his young master returned for him each afternoon. The fireman liked Skinny, sort of felt sorry for him, teased and bullied as he was by the other boys. The meaner ones even called him little girl. Skinny just, just didn't fit in with the youngsters his age. He had a paper route, that was nice, read a lot of books in his spare time, but otherwise Skinny was just plain lonesome. Except, as I say, for that devoted Airedale dog. Now, one autumn morning, Skinny came by the firehouse to leave his dog for the school day when one of the firemen noticed the boy's lip was gashed and bleeding and one of his eyes was dark purple. Skinny, obviously ashamed, tried to hurry off, but this fireman, nobody remembers his name, this fireman said, Hey, Skinny, come here. And the youngster reluctantly obeyed. Who did this to you? The fireman asked. Well, Skinny explained about this one bully in particular, how he always taunted, Little girl, little girl, how come you wear pants instead of a dress? But this morning, Skinny had not managed to outrun his tormentor, and at that point in his story, Skinny began to cry. The fireman placed a brawny hand on the boy's shoulder. You know what I used to be, he said? A boxer? Professional, too, pretty good in my day. And what I think you need is a few pointers, how to stand up for yourself. And that afternoon, after school, Skinny returned for his first boxing lesson. It was the first of several. And when next the bully chased him down, Skinny turned and stood his ground. The two boys fought to a draw that day, and yet more important than mere victory, what Skinny won for himself was the respect of his schoolmates. And so it began. You never knew this scared, scrawny schoolboy reborn in a Glendale, California firehouse in the autumn of 1920. The youngster whose feminine-sounding first name, Marion, had inspired the hated nickname, Little Girl. But now, I hope you will never forget the Glendale firefighter, who you might say created the man the world remembers with near reverence. And the fireman of station number one at 315 East Broadway created something else. A more respectable nickname for their young friend. You see, that Airedale dog the boy dropped off at the firehouse each day, his name was Little Duke. Little Duke. So to encourage his self-confidence in Little Duke's master, the fireman began calling the boy Big Duke. And that name, Big Duke, stuck. Even after the shy, skinny youngster, Marion, Michael, Morrison, even after he became Big Duke, the two-fisted, ultimately tough-screen legend you knew as John Wayne, only now you know the rest of the story. It's hard imagining John Wayne being bullied by anyone. Were you or your friends bullied as a child? Perhaps you bullied someone at one time or another? Parents, speak to your kids or grandkids. Let them know that it's okay to tell you if they're being bullied. Let them know that they're not alone. There's a website called StopBullying.gov that can help you learn how to identify bullying and how to stop it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Maybe one day bullies won't exist and the name bully will become extinct. We can only hope. 
But just remember to always be nice and always be kind to your fellow man. And as Paul Harvey would say, and I mean this, good day.